Uh, the toilets from like the 70s or something is very old needs to come out. And so is the flooring. Very old and nasty and crusty. That's got to come out too. Yeah, it's kind of all oak wood. So I think this whole bathroom needs to be gutted out. Unfortunately, it's just really ugly. And you can see this is a brick insulation that they did in this house in between the, the stud. That's what I'm talking about. There used to be a doorway on this side. Somebody covered it. And uh, that's good because the uh, bathroom's going into the uh, kitchen. It's not a good idea. I've already taken out about three of these, three or four of these, loaded to the top, full of plaster. Got the wood lath out mostly. And you can see I have bricks inside the walls. That's not structural, but uh, contemplating if I should keep it or remove it and put some insulation or not. This ceiling was lowered in here. It's nine and a half foot ceilings in this bathroom. So it looks like I'm going to take this ceiling down. Just got to remove the beams. What I'm going to do for this is just cut them off with a sawzall. I'm going to go and get to work today on ripping this ceiling out because it's old plaster and it's got a big hole in it. All right, so I just tested the for lead and you can see it's turned my lead test strip. It's turned it red, so that means this is lead paint. So I'm going to be wear a mask and be careful when I break it. See that? See how red that is? It was orange. That's super pink. All right, it took me about an hour to get this uh, lath. The plaster off. I got it all in here. Next step is take the wood lap off. It must get worse before it can get better. Check that out. All the insulation that was up there. It was blown in insulation. All right, nice and clean. Now I can work on my electrical and my plumbing and figure out how I want to lay this out and what kind of tile and what kind of setup I'm going to have in here. All right, quick update on this bathroom here. I got all my electricity ran. Okay, I got two switches here that's gonna run all the lights and the fan, exhaust fan has been installed. I ran the exhaust out above, above here. There's a little vent there that opens and closes. Uh, I got, I'm gonna have a dimmer for here. When I put the light up there, it'll be a dimmer switch. Uh, the exhaust is the top one for the fan. And then the light in the middle, and that one has a, a speaker so you can listen to music from Bluetooth. And the bottom one is this mirror switch, it would be for the mirror. Uh, I put GFIC right here and a GFIC down here. At the... I did ha leave an electrical outlet uh, junction box in the center. I need to mark out where it is. Now I'm just got to do my plumbing and I got to figure out where I want all the, where I want my toilet at in my tub. And as far as insulation, I'm going to leave the bricks mostly because I don't I don't see point to take it out and make a mess. I already made messes in here so many times. So what I did is I put some of this insulation over the brick. And then I put insulation where there was holes. Just some fiberglass insulation there. This is all fiberglass insulation here. There's no bricks in this wall. And I'll do the foam over this bricks. I did make some 2x4 blocks like fire blocks in here because you can literally put your hand in there and reach into the uh, basement and it's a dirt crawl space so I don't want the smells coming up so I put all wood all through here and you can see what I mean right there's a gap since there's bricks here I can't fit a 2 by 4 here so I'll just put some more uh, foam in a can just like I did over here I'll do that in these gaps here and on the other side See, this door was framed with 2x6. I don't know why they use 2x6. It should have been a 2x4. That way it doesn't protrude out. 
because the wall board's gonna go here and this thing's popping out like another inch and a half yeah this is usually they have it standing up this way and it's just laying down flat I, I just don't think this was framed correctly all right yeah so I decided just to, to uh, change out the plumbing you see where the hammers at that's where the vanity will be about right here and then it leaves me I guess the code is you want at least 30 inches from like a tub tub and uh, like your vanity for the toilet and right here we got about 30 32 inches the toilet will go right here I got the hole marked out right here it's got to go I think it's 12 and a half inches from from the wall half inch for the sheetrock so I'll do 13 so I'm probably gonna put tile on the wall too I gotta move this vent probably I'll move it over here because the tub is a freestanding tub it's not gonna go all the way in the back there'll be a gap here and a gap on the other side so I can put my vent like right behind the tub and then this got to be cut out and I got to fill this hole over here as well all right got the vent moved over and I took the pieces that I cut out from there and just put them to this one put a piece of plywood underneath this will just go in there all right test fitting this uh, sink and toilet and the tub is gonna go right here so I'm trying to figure out where I want my holes I'm gonna put the faucet caddy corner and I guess I can run a uh, inch and a half on this tub it doesn't have to be two inches all right picked up a door from the local Home Depot and got some shims and this is a solid core Door. it's supposed to be sound reduction and it's actually pretty swallow solid if you hit it it actually hurts your knuckles when you try to knock on it like that because it's all solid inside and if you look at these other doors they're hollow and you can like see the difference it's cheapy it's like you, you could probably punch right through that masonite and I also wanted the door to swing in this one swings out so I have to re frame this whole doorway as you can see there's a uh, this frame is only half a piece of a frame so I don't know why they did it like that but and this two by sixes these are too big they're protruding out so I'm gonna go in and take this all apart and rebuild reframe a whole new doorway here's some of the plumbing pieces I needed that's for uh, an extra sink or tub because I'm adding a tub to the bathroom here's the new drain for the toilet here's a p-trap for the tub originally the pipe to the sewer three inch pipe ran to the toilet all I did was un, un uh, clamp it drop the the whole sewer the three inch pipe and I dragged it two rafters over and it was there was enough play in the pipe for me to move it from there to here without even having to cut it that'll be a lot easier than having to you know put a elbow on there and then bring it this way from where it was and yes yeah, so I gotta put my new toilet flange in I still gotta drill the hole plumb this up and plumb tub I already got my marking down there where I want the um, the faucet so that's where I'm at in the plumbing but the really the plumbing could be done like after I do the walls sheetrock the walls because that's all on the ground I don't really need um, to have the walls finished but before I do any of that I'm gonna get this doorway situated also this was a 32 inch door I'm going down a 30 inch door just because I think it's a little too wide it doesn't need to be that big so time to get to work
All right, so if you're doing a 30 inch door like me, you need a 32 inch wide opening. So that's what I had to frame it down from uh, the 32 door that I had in here. I'm gonna put a 30 inch door. So you see it's 32, 32, and I went uh, 82 up. Okay, it'll be a little bit taller than the door by like a half inch. And this is nice and solid now. Can hang on it like a monkey. All right. All right, got the door in place loosely. And it fits pretty good. So a 32 inch opening is just enough to shim this. You got like a quarter inch. All right. And this is a solid core door, so it's quite heavy. So I put some shims down under here just to hold the weight because it's wanting to fall over. All right, there's the door. Put some of this foam in a can. So all those little errors, air pockets won't. No wind, no noise will go through. All right guys, next video will be finishing off the sheetrock, installing crown molding, seven inch crown molding, installing porcelain backsplash with the mosaic tile, finishing off the niche, and installing traver silver travertine on the floor. So I'll catch you guys on the next video, and uh, thanks for watching.